Greetings, Earthlings. Planet Mitch, founder and chief astronomer over at planetfid.com. I am here at Schiller's Camera in St. Louis, which is an awesome place to go if you're looking for camera gear. And you can check them out at schillers.com. Uh, they have helped me buy the brand new Canon 5D Mark IV. And yes, I have it in my hot little hands. I picked it up this morning here, and it's been raining all day, so I haven't had a chance to really get out and shoot with it yet. It's finally clearing up a little bit, uh, but I wanted to show you that I have an awesome rig set up because what I am going to do, look at that, there are three cameras here. I have the 5D Mark II, the 5D Mark III, and the 5D Mark IV all on this one rig and I am going to do some testing, shooting simultaneously with all four cameras. Wait a minute. I've got so many numbers in my head, I don't do that right, did I? I'm gonna be testing with all three cameras simultaneously, looking for things like more A for video, how well 4K down to 1080, and it's wiggling a little bit. Uh, so keep an eye out, we'll shoot some of that stuff later, and you can, of course, Check us out at Schiller's.com. And note, by the way, that I have the exact same lens, the 24 to 105 on all three cameras. So we'll be doing the same settings, the same lenses. The only thing that's different is the body and the software inside the body. So you'll get a great analysis of what these three cameras look like side by side. Let's jump in with the rolling shutter and moray testing. The 5D Mark II was landmark camera for having a full frame sensor, which means it's a little difficult to get all that data off in one fell swoop. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time defining moray and rolling shutter, but you can look those up if you want over on something called Google. They're both artifacts of trying to get the data off of the sensor all at once. The artifact of rolling shutter is that moving the camera quickly side to side causes vertical lines to look like diagonals like this. So rolling shutter is something to be expected on all CMOS cameras. The 5D Mark II, the 5D Mark III are very similar. This test appears to be just a slight bit less than maybe the 5D Mark III, but it's still gonna be evident in all of your video if you're shaking your camera horizontally fast. So don't do it. But let's also be realistic. Most viewers will never even notice it. So, Let's move on. More A can be annoying at times, and other times people ignore it. This is a sample of a pattern that has more A appearing on the left-hand side. You'll find this in shirts and on brick walls and all kinds of different things in video. And we'd like to avoid it, but again, a lot of times most viewers won't even notice it. So sometimes pixel peeping can be bad. All kinds of things can affect moray, so don't just trust every example as being perfect. Several years ago, I did this example, and the 5D Mark III looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of moray here at the end of this on the right-hand side, and the 5D Mark II just looks pretty bad in this example. A lot of it has to do with the distance from the camera, the light that's currently hitting the wall or the shirt, uh, many factors go into creating moray. On our testing at Schiller's, the 5D Mark II looked pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of moray there, but the 5D Mark III looked about the same. Uh, in this situation, it's, it's kind of okay. But the 5D Mark IV, pulling 30 megapixels off that sensor, just has a lot more difficulty making that happen. Here's a quick view of the 5D Mark III and the 5D Mark IV in our Schiller's testing. And you can see that the moray is quite a bit more evident on the 5D Mark IV footage. Different wall, but going back to the first wall, and you can see a little bit of moray appearing on the 5D Mark II footage here. And the 5D Mark III looks, again, pretty good. They did some good work on, on reducing moray in the 5D Mark III footage. But lastly here, there's a little bit of moray appearing on the same wall with the 5D Mark IV. And again, I really think it has to do with that sensor being so much larger than the earlier cameras. Uh, here's the 5D Mark III and the 5D Mark IV side by side yet again. 
So here's the grand conclusion. Don't worry about rolling shutter and moray. You can deal with them, and in the vast majority of cases, the viewer doesn't care. Heck, I've seen the nightly news where the prime reporter sitting behind the desk had a plaid shirt or a striped shirt that was doing moray like crazy. And did anybody stop watching the news? Nah. The key is the story. So produce a great story, produce great content, and everything will fall into place. And these technical details about the camera sensor just won't matter. This is Planet Mitch. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Schiller's for lending me two 24 to 105 lenses for helping me get the 5D Mark IV, the very first guy here in St. Louis to get one. Again, if you need camera gear or have questions, look up your local camera shop if you can. They have great support in most situations, and supporting local businesses is a great thing to do. Thanks for watching. Oh, and keep tuned for our analysis of 4K video on the 5D Mark IV. Watch this video, and thanks, and subscribe, and click like, and share on Facebook, and all those wonderful social media things, because it really does help. Thank you.